Good morning, Gators. I'm Alex. And I'm Shaglinda. It's Friday, November 1st, and you're watching KGTR. This football season has gone by so fast. Our guys have had a really good season. Our newest addition to sports at Shreve has also had a very successful start to their season as well. Our girls volleyball team has been working so hard to make us proud. Let's go to Cammie with the story. Hey Gators, as you all know it's football season and our boys are working harder than ever. So far, they've been able to pull off a win against Northwood and Mansfield and are still working hard for the rest of the season. Uh, the team has grown a lot. I mean, we started off, I mean, none of us were really together in the first place, but once we started getting too close to the season, I think we uh, really had a bond together. I have faith in my team going in this Friday uh, against the airline. I think we'll uh, pull off the future. Make sure to come out tonight to support the team at airline, and don't forget about the homecoming game next week at Lee Hedges against Southwood. Now let's take a look at Lady Gator Volleyball. The girls have been working extremely hard since their very first season last year. The ladies won against Airline, Houghton, LaGrange, and even Bird, along with others. Volleyball takes a lot of work because like, we practice almost every day this summer, and we have games every Tuesday and Thursday, and then practice in between them. They finished out their second season this past Tuesday night. Great job, ladies. Now back to Alex and Shaglinda. I've made so many memories this year already. I don't know how I'm going to keep up with everything. Buying a yearbook could help. Reagan has the story. Money is due for yearbooks. Right now they are $70, but on March 1st they will go up to $80. Senior ad money is due by December 1st, and pictures and layouts are due by February 1st. It's important to have a yearbook because you can look back on your memories from high school when you're old. This year's log will have many new features, such as new engraving options. You can now get not only your name, but a club symbol engraved on your log. For anyone else interested in personal ads, there are many options. You can get a quarter page for $100, a half a page for $175, or a full page for $300. You can buy your yearbook at smart-pay.com. You can then decide if you want to pick up your yearbook next school year or have it mailed to you by June 1st. Well, remember Gators, social media will come and go, but a yearbook will last forever. I'm Reagan for KGTR. Looking for a way to worship God in a laid back environment with other Christians who love the Lord? Then come to Impact. Impact is designed for high school students to be able to make a lasting impact on their school campuses and in the lives of their friends. Impact has a live band that leads worship each week with some of the top songs in worship music. We meet every Wednesday night from 7.30 to 8.30 at Broadmoor Baptist Church located at 4110 Yuri Drive. For more information, call 318-868-6552. We'd love to see you there. Hey Alex, did you nominate anyone for homecoming court? Um, no, I think the teachers did that this year. Why did they change it? I have no idea, but I'm sure Peyton could tell us. Everyone at Captain Street looks forward to when homecoming rolls around, but do we really know what homecoming all entails? So what's the purpose of homecoming? Uh, I guess just to you know, have fun. For the girls to get pretty and to have fun. Um, to have a good time. Homecoming is a dance at the high school that kids go to. The real purpose of homecoming is the returning of our alumni. We're celebrating their return home. Another thing that I've been hearing around school is about homecoming court. 
What do you think the purpose of homecoming court is? Uh, I guess just to show, like, I guess, like, you know, all the girls getting all dressed up and everything. Uh, I guess it's just like a popularity contest. I think the homecoming court is based on popularity and not on academics. I don't think there is a purpose. It's not so much based on popularity this year due to the change by administration. Girls now that are selected are chosen by their teachers first. Ms. Langdon expressed that she chose solely on character. And our girls that are selected on homecoming court should definitely have character. So now that we are fully aware of what homecoming and homecoming court is, let's take a look back at all of our old homecoming court traditions. So let's get our court dressed up in our alumni home and let's top off our hat to our homecoming news. Do you remember freshman year when our parents had to drop us off for homecoming? Yeah, I should have signed up for Chomp and Swamp. Well, lucky for this year's freshmen, they can still sign up. Sign up for Chomp and Swamp to gather with your friends, take pictures, ride on a charter bus, and eat at a nice restaurant for homecoming. Make your first homecoming memorable. Also, boys, Z Club would like you to participate in the annual Miss Ugly Captain Treve pageant. Auditions are Tuesday, November 12th, dress rehearsal is Wednesday, December 4th, and the pageant is Thursday, December 5th. We hope to see you stretch your stuff on the catwalk. We'd like to thank our sponsors, the Feaster Family, Southern Classic Chicken, the Bowen Family, Boone and Joint Clinic, and Be Safe Driving School. Well, that's all for today, Gators, and thanks for watching. KGTR! KGTR.